Okay. So we would start by creating a new mixed reality project from the Unity's templates. So a new project, later version Unity 6, which I'm using. And we would choose mixed reality. And then we would create a project. Okay. okay. So I have this empty Unity mixed reality project template ready. And first step which we need to do is to add project um sorry package some packages so we just go to the project settings package manager here and we would add the name url and scopes from the upm upm is just like npm for web or unity so i have provided this link in the description you can grab it there go to this website scroll a bit down and using open upm under that heading you would find the name which is open upm you just copy this okay paste it here okay yes Go back, copy the URL, copy, okay, and paste it here. Then go back again. Finally, the scope, which is com the panther, and we will just paste it here. So if you see, and we just click save, and it will just take its time to do the loading and all. So if you see, basically this project is nothing but uh, the the panther WebXR uh, plugin. So Okay. github repository if you might have heard about it this is the same plugin which is available through open npm so i'm just going I'm taking you through how to install of this instead of reading this entire log long scary documentation so yeah just mentioning that and now our unity might have imported the uh, scopes now we need to go to package manager and you okay. to go to my registries and you see all these three things are here we just need to import all of these install this and install the other one and we will install the all all these three okay i will just see you after this installed okay okay so now i have imported all these three things and the next thing is we need to configure a little bit so we need to go to windows um webxr and we need to press copy of gl template continue this would do the web gl template imported here to the publishing setting we need to change the compression format to disabled is it necessary if you want to test it locally on your device we would check that so okay. in another in another video okay and so one final setting which we need to make is go to the project settings exact plugin management and enable the plugin providers for webxr export which is our webxr export the deep panther plugin and that's all now we can now here i have added this sample scene from exile interaction toolkit in our in my scene setting scene list sorry so you can okay. find it in this samples folder from the template and simply I can just click build and run and it would run a local server for me to test on the web and we will check out how to test this project locally on our web browser without a headset in the end so just stay tuned let me build it and we'll be right back okay so after pressing build and run the uh, this local server has automatically opened on my browser and I can test it and uh, the way to test it is we download this immersive web emulator plugin from meta and it basically provides you with a way to test it on the browser with your mouse and keyboard so i have already installed it in my system so if you see on my browser this plugin is already available okay and if you have your device connected one cool feature is that you can send this current page to your uh, meta headset also so, okay um, after adding it, the way to test it is you need to go to the inspection mode, which is Control Shift and I. Once you press that, you have to add WebXR okay. from this plus button top here. You add press press WebXR, and here you can check out. If you click on VR now, see your device is available. Press here. This is your headset, the controllers, and everything, and. On the left pen, you can see the left controller buttons. On the right pen, you can see the right controller buttons, and you can just try and interact with them. So, see, I'm able to move it left and right. I can go like that. So, you see, this is hovering, and you can grip it like this. See, I have it gripped. You can drop it if you draw, uh, toggle the grip. And now we can again move it like this. You can reset your pose from here. You can teleport. See, it's rotating it with the Vignet also from the right controller. If we try teleporting, there is no active uh, mesh here. So that's how you, that's how you test it. It's super cool. Like if you do not have a headset and you need to create a build and you need to test it very quickly, 
this is the correct way to do it friends so that was webxr for you okay guys so this was the video we learned how we can make a webgl build for unity's xr interaction toolkit and in the upcoming videos we would check out how you can test locally on your own system without the need of build and run every time which is a very big headache and we would check how you can test it on your metaquest devices how you can publish it online for free and even we would explore in depth the the panther web export plugin for it some of the cool accessories such as um showing uh, device specific controllers and a few other more things so just stay tuned and let's keep doing xr